Welcome Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for September 30th through October 7th. Uh, Virgo, it looks like you are leaving an ex behind and moving towards a soulmate, uh, but you have an ex that is trying to stir the pot. So um, they're trying to, they're telling you whatever they think you want to hear so that you can get back with them. So um, stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hi guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. This is Barbara. Please keep in mind that these are all general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They are not gender specific and they can resonate in reverse. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I give away two, three question readings every week. If you're interested, comment down below, Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway. And, and if I select you, I will respond to your post. Um, like always, uh, if you're interested in a reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when new content comes out. And with that, stick around and let's see where this goes. Virgo, I'm going to get your energy and the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'm going to get you some Oracle cards and then get into your reading. So with that, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Virgo. What is the energy for Virgo the week of September 30th through October 7th? What is the energy for Virgo, please? What is the energy for Virgo? Virgo, you got the emperor here. Ooh, divine masculine energy. You're standing in your power. You're taking control. You're uh, being the boss. It's your way or the highway so let's see if you're dealing with an aries someone's moving forward if you're dealing with a taurus they're coming in slowly with an offer of stability if you're dealing with a gemini they want to apologize and if you're dealing with a cancer it's some spicy stuff some a lot of passion if you're dealing with a Leo, you got someone who's got a lot of emotion for you. If you're dealing with a, another Virgo, someone's very guarded and defensive. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're either moving on or wanting to get past rough waters. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's a new beginning in, of love and abundance. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's being strategic, not showing emotion. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone single. If you're dealing with a um, Aquarius, it's either a soulmate or a choice between two. And if you're dealing with the Pisces, you got your true match. You got the Empress to the Emperor. So, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. This is you working on and collaborating for success, taking control, working and collaborating for success. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, they're moving on to something, moving forward in something committed and long-term. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's unhappy because it's taken a long time for you to come towards them. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's wanting, the Queen of Wands wants to apologize. So someone who's very um, confident, standing in her beauty, you know, this person goes for what she wants. She wants to apologize to you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's guarded because of the passion or blocking the passion. Somebody's blocking the passion. I just got, I have to say it. This is being cock blocked. <laughs> That's just what it is. I just got that in my head. Interesting. Okay, so somebody's wish fulfillment. Uh, if you're dealing with the Leo, you're somebody's wish fulfillment. Uh, there's a lot of emotion there. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, very guarded, making a decision to cut something out. If you're dealing with a um, Leo, I'm sorry, a Libra, Someone's moving forward because somebody was juggling. If you're dealing with a 
Scorpio, this is an emotional message that somebody wants a new beginning of love and abundance. If you're dealing with... If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're dealing with somebody else. They're dealing with somebody else. They've got they've got somebody else already. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone wants to reconcile. They're single and they want to reconcile. Pre-Empress energy. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, you're breadcrumbing somebody because there's a choice between two, or they're breadcrumbing you because of a choice between two. Um, but I'm also getting that you're dealing with you're dealing with a Pisces. This person's having a new beginning with somebody else. The Empress and the King of Cups. So this person's in a relationship with somebody else. So let's get into your Oracle cards and see what comes up for you. Keep in mind, this is about you taking control to work on something. You're dealing, oops, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know? You got love. Okay, love surrounds um, all of your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Under the bottom of the deck, you got goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? You got Stand Still and Solitude. So you're at a standstill. You're spending some time with, taking some time within. You've got some goals here, but there's love. You've got love here, and you've got goals. So... They're wanting you to take some time alone. Let's see why. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. So you need to speak a truth to somebody. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Show the world the real you. And the energy is gaining momentum. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know, please? You got dark thoughts. That's why you're in solitude and ascending master, ascended masters. You're being guided. There's a lot of dark, dark thoughts around you right now. You might be in a lower vibration. Um, you might be at a standstill with somebody. You need to be sol in, in, um, take some time to yourself. Um, they're saying you're stronger than you think, and you need to be honest about something. You need to show the world who you really are and that energy is gaining momentum. You have the sixth chakra. This is your third eye. So you need to meditate. There is a caring connection. They want you to meditate on something. You need, you're need. you going to get some answers, some downloads from your guides. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please? View from above. Get the bigger picture. Look at the picture. Look at look at it from a bigger. Uh, get the whole picture here. Uh, great adventure. Take a risk. 
venture forward. But they want you to see something. They need you need to see it all. You need to see everything that's going on. So there's things that you're not seeing. Like a shallow mindset. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guys, Clarity and Guidance. What does Virgo need to know? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. That's why you're at a standstill. They're wanting you to release something. You're having dark thoughts. I'm getting fighting. You're being guided here to a new, uh, on a new path. Heartbroken. Yeah. Deeply hurt. Sad separation, breakup. Feeling lost, grieving, and mourning, yeah. Releasing your ex. You need to trust something. Then you get a love call. Someone expresses their love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this is another person. This is another person for you, Virgo. You have uh, one that you're releasing and one you're going towards. You're being guided towards the second person. There's a new adventure. You need to see the bigger picture in this. Okay, there's a canary, a, car a canary, <laughs> there's a caring connection around you, and uh, you need to do some meditation. You're being guided in that direction. You're being guided. There's, there's maybe going through the dark night of the soul, with the dark thoughts, and the, and the ascended masters. It's a possibility. They're wanting you to speak your truth, though. And they're wanting you, they say you're stronger than you know. You're at a standstill. You're, you're solitude. You're, you're spending time alone. But there's love here. Um, and your goals will be met. So uh, let's see what this has to say. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. What does Virgo need to know in this situation? What does Virgo need to know in this situation? Here we go. What does Virgo need to know? Ten of Swords, you feel backstabbed and betrayed. You want to balance something out and being patient. You walked away from something um, and now you're single. <clears throat> You're up in your head, sleepless nights, and you're having some regret. The person you're dealing with, two of cups, being divinely guided. You manifested this. You want justice here. This is a, this is a soulmate that you're, but you're feeling guarded. This is the person you're being guided to. You broke up with somebody. You're being guided to somebody. What's the obstacle? Somebody's wanting to win at all cost and causing burden. This could be the ex trying to cause the burden. There's strife, jealousy, and competition because there's going to be something that is long-term and committed. So why is the Ten of Swords here? So you made a head-over-heart decision because someone betrayed you. You cut something out. You're being patient about a new passion at a beginning. You walked away. Uh, because you want to be happy and you're standing here single and abundant wanting equal give and take why are you wanting equal give and take what is this you want an you're, you're single and abundant you want equal give and take in a love relationship so a new beginning in love wanting equal give and take you're very up in your head about taking this leap of faith and you're communicating that you're having some regret or you miss somebody. You have a two of cups here, a soulmate, strong soulmate connection. Um, could be an Aries Leo Sag, somebody who goes for what they want. They don't ask permission, okay? Um, you're being divinely guided um, to take your time about this. They're saying take your time. This may take a long time for this, you know, for this stability, but 
they're taking take your time about it don't jump into it with this person you know you're this is you're holding on you're you can't be manifest there's manipulation holding on to deception someone's manipulating you hold it trying to hold on to this deception you have justice with the uh, and, and uh, cancer Pisces or Scorpio needing strength and courage and not happy you're not happy about it that could be the X okay um, there's a choice between two someone's being strategic but you have this is a soulmate this is a soulmate but you two could be really not expressing emotion right now this is a soulmate connection and you're guarding yourself against this option this is the X okay you have someone who's very guarded defensive Queen of Wands, um, this is option, confusion, illusion. Um, this is the same thing here. There's justice here, wanting justice, because somebody's got their, a lot of, uh, they're up in their feelings about you, needing strength and courage, but you, you're still not happy in the situation. Okay, so somebody's wanting to win at all costs. They're causing burdens. They think it's this Queen of Wands here. Yeah, it's a third party energy here. Somebody's watching. Yeah, watching, juggling. Yeah. They're seeing you with somebody else and they don't like it. They're causing problems because of that. Um, this is strife, jealousy, competition, and something that was long-term and committed is now out in the cold, okay, and moving on. Moving on because you've seen the light on something. You've looked at the bigger picture. You did some soul searching, okay? So something had to end so something new can begin. Someone from the past is coming towards you to offer that cup. There's a decision being made, but this is player energy here. Somebody was there for a good time, not a long time. You're, you're trying to look at it with a different mindset. And they're trying to communicate that they're now stable, but... They're trying to block you from ending something or, you know, block an ending. They, they don't want this to end with you. So that's what they're going to tell you. So with that, um, Virgo, I'm going to take this into the extended. I'll read you on one side, your person on the other. Flip it, switch it, however it resonates with you. I'll get you some Oracle cards and we'll clarify your spread. So uh, if this re resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.